Good morning, everyone. I mean, good morning, everyone. (laughs) It's January 1st. It's uh, the first day of a brand new year, 2023. Um, And uh, we're very glad that you were all able to be here today. Not only is it New Year's Day after everybody stayed up to midnight trying to watch the ball drop or the fireworks go off or whatever was going on on your TV or in your house. Um, (laughs) And... uh, um, but, uh, but also it's pouring down rain outside, so um, you also had to <coughs> endure the weather um, today. So um, thank you all for being here in person with us. Um, thank you all, uh, you who are a little bit smarter and are watching us on Zoom, um, um, or those who are watching the YouTube version of this worship later. Um, obviously, if you are at home, you can still fill out the attendance form there. Um, I realize we are sending that out in the weekly email. Um, and it is also available on our website on the RamonaUMC.org slash Sunday page. Um, and uh, so you can click either one of those places for the attendance if you don't do a QR code kind of thing. Um, so we welcome you. It is the first Sunday of the month. And um, so we are going to celebrate birthdays. Um, we have a whole big long list there of our January birthdays. And uh, so... Um, we want to celebrate. Uh, Jim is here behind me. <laughs> and uh, so he has a January birthday, so we're excited about that. So uh, let's sing happy birthday to everybody. Happy And our anniversary is Paul and Connie Humphrey. They're living in, um, so, uh, I want to say Sedona, but that may not be exactly right. Um, they're over there in Arizona, um, and um, they're looking for a new church. Um, and so we are continuing to keep them on our rolls and uh, part of our congregation until they find a new one. Um, but we wish them a happy anniversary uh, today, in fact. So, um, and that's our end of our January list of, of uh, anniversaries. So, all right. Um, reminder that Midweek Connection is returning this week. Um, so um, when, this Wednesday at 7 p.m., we will be joining back together on Zoom um, for our Midweek Connection. So I invite you all uh, to be a part of that and to join me there Wednesday evening. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Friendship Circle is meeting um, this Wednesday as well. That's at 10 a.m., and that is at Louise's home. Um, so they're meeting over there off Wildcat Canyon. And um, so <clears throat> Joanne's sick, Joanne Bowden. Um, but hopefully she'll be better by Wednesday. So. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll be able to join you. So I'm looking forward to that. They're, doing, they're serving brunch, so they would appreciate an RSVP um, if you're going to be able to make it over there on Wednesday. Um, and we want to remind you that the, there will be a memorial service for Earl. Um, and that will be here at the church on Friday, January 13th, uh, in the afternoon. Um, so I'm going to meet with them um, uh, in a couple of days, tomorrow or Tuesday, um, and uh, work out exact time and all the details for that. So just want to have you put that down in your calendar and remember that a week from this coming Friday is, uh, will be that service. They will also be having a family uh, get gathering and get-together at their own home on Saturday, the 14th. and. Everyone is invited to that as well. All right. Um, I think that's um, it for our announcements this morning. Um, I did manage to get announcements printed this morning to put it in your bulletin. Um, Just a reminder um, about a couple of giving opportunities. I haven't said it out loud, but but those are in there. Uh, One is the birthday club, Jim. Um, And... uh, (laughs) So uh, whenever your birthday comes around, uh, we do have a special fund called the Birthday Fund. And um, so we, we, I don't, we don't often talk about it, but we invite people to give a dollar for every year um, that you are celebrating that year. And uh, so the older you get, the more expensive it gets. Um, but, um, but that is uh, one way of, of giving and uh, of being a part of the church. And, is there a uh, so senior discount? There is, there is a senior in count. What is the opposite of a discount? Um, and seniors round up. Seniors round up. Yeah, just give a hundred. 
you know, then you're good for several years. <laughs> um, but I just want to let you know, we used that, we've used that money for the fence um, when we were repairing that big section of fence and, um, and other projects, emergencies and other things that come up um, and uh, that's where that money goes. So it's, it's very handy to have. All right, um, so that's our announcements um, for this uh, morning. We remember um, that God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. We're having a carol sing Sunday today. Um, so um, what we did, we put, in, we put a uh, uh, survey in Christmas Eve's bulletin and several of you filled it out. We had one online um, and several of you filled that out. And so we took all those votes and um, we picked our Christmas carols that we're going to be singing today. We're going to be singing lots of Christmas carols. Um, today, so get your singing voice ready. <coughs> we may not stand for all of them because we're doing like eight, so um, seven or eight. So, uh, but we'll stand for these first two. We'll invite you to stand and join us in our opening two carols. <laughs> Let your praise of God sound to the heavens. 
We shout the good news of God's mighty love. Let all the stars, the sun, the moon, sing praise to God. The universe that God created sings its praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Please remain standing as you're able and join us in the number one picked song in our survey, um, Mary Did You Know. Philippians chapter verses two, chapter two verses five through eleven. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We're going to invite you to sit and we're going to throw in another carol here and sing What Child Is This?
Our theme for the day is Sing We Now of Christmas. And um, I've been thinking about all the singing that we've been doing this year um, and this season. Um, I don't know if you've enjoyed hearing the Christmas music on the radio, perhaps. Um, we were very disappointed, though, that by the 28th or 27th, it was all gone. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, no, there are still 10 more days of Christmas. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, there's a lot to uh, singing and Christmas, right? They, they really seem to go together. And uh, we even learned that from our movies, right? Um, and uh, so here is a perfect example of, uh, of getting the point across to us to start with. Get through. Christmas is the greatest day in the whole wide world. Please stop talking to me. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone needs to sing a Christmas carol. Go away. Best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Thanks, but I don't sing. Oh, it's easy. It's just like talking, except louder and longer, and you move your voice up and down. <laughs> his, his, uh, his phrase is, um, the best way to bring Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to to hear. And um, so, and then he explained singing is really easy. It's just like talking, except you move your voice up and down as you talk, right? Um, so, uh, so I thought, you know, that is, right? That there is something about singing and how it connects us to Christmas cheer. And we've all learned this from a very young age. We all have learned this, even if we didn't realize it. And this other clip will show you where we've all learned this um, from, a, from a very for many, many years. Poopo to the who's, he was grinchily humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the who's down in Whoville will all cry, boo-hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. He paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. This sound wasn't sad. What? This sound sounded glad. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled and puzzled till his puzzle was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. <laughs> perhaps Christmas doesn't come from a store. And I, I always wondered, how many of us, if we woke up Christmas morning and came out and found the tree and the decorations and the presents and the food all gone, if someone had come into our house and stole all that, how many of us would gather in a circle and sing Christmas carols <laughs> and celebrate that Christmas holiday, right? Wow, what a, what a terrific challenge from Dr. Seuss to all of us um, to remember that Christmas isn't about you know, what's under the tree or what's on the table, or how much stuff we got, or how many presents we got. 
um, or any of that, right? Christmas means so much more. And singing Christmas is something that we can all do, right? Whether we have everything in the world and we have everything we want and we're comfortable or if we have nothing, we can all sing praise to God. We can all sing our Christmas carols. And we can all celebrate that God is with us. There's a phrase that um, is attributed to St. Augustine, but um, you know how it is nowadays. We realize that many of those things get attributed to people that never actually said them. Um, but it is that when you sing, you pray twice, right? Because the act of singing itself is a prayer. And as we sing and remember these carols today, and maybe some of you are even thinking, gosh, Christmas was over. I just want to be done and be past it. Um, but, you know, even as we sing these Christmas carols one more time before the end of the season, um, we are doing it as a prayer. As a prayer and a celebration that God is with us. That God sent Jesus down to be present with us, to remind us, to teach us that we don't have to go to Jerusalem, we don't have to go to the inner sanctum of the, of the temple, we don't have to go to a specific spot on earth. God is with us where we are. That's been our theme for all of Advent this year. God is with us. And so we celebrate that today in song, we celebrate that today in communion, as we celebrate communion, which means community, which means connected, we share from the body of Christ because we are all one. We are not alone. God is with us. And so let's sing these hymns that one last time before we put them away until next Christmas. Um, and let us sing every Sunday as a prayer of celebration of, for God and all that God has given to each and every one of us. Amen? Amen. All right, we're going to invite you to stand as you are able, and we're going to sing two more Christmas carols.
We've come now to our time of, of lifting up our celebrations, our joys, and our concerns. And uh, so we begin uh, by requesting um, prayers, uh, one for Joanne, um, who's not able to be with us, who's feeling sick and a little under the weather. Um, uh, so we want to keep uh, uh, Joanne in our prayers this morning. Uh, so for Joanne, uh, for healing, um, we say, Lord, in your mercy. And um, Jim and Joanne request prayers for their friend, John, um, who, had a, who had surgery to remove a malignant kidney mass um, on the 23rd. He lives in Ohio and uh, was able to come home after the surgery, uh, but needed to be hospitalized again um, for internal bleeding. So um, just prayers for him that they are able to stop that bleeding and um, that his healing may uh, truly begin. So prayers for, um, for Jim and Joanne's friend, John. We say, Lord, in your mercy. And um, Kim and uh, Keely uh, request prayers for uh, Judy and her family. Um, she is having a, a, a very difficult holiday season. She shared, Judy herself shared some of that with us. Um, in November, she lost her friend, um, George Paulus. Um, in December, she lost her aunt, Julia. Um, then her aunt, Hazel. Um, passed away on the 16th. Um, so, um, and on the 23rd, her friend Eve, uh, friend Rich, um, Keeley's grandma Eve, um, had her uh, ventilator removed. Um, so this has been a very, very rough season for, for Judy and for the whole family. Um, so just a, a lot of um, a lot of mourning and um, and loss for them in this time. So. So just uh, lift up Judy and, um, and uh, all the families involved. We say for them, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And uh, Martha and Russ um, request prayers uh, for the family and friends of Michelle Scott. Uh, Michelle passed away on November 27th. Um, Dan and Michelle were longtime residents of Ramona and uh, were very active supporters in the community. Um, so, um, so just prayers uh, for for the family. Um, so for those who knew Michelle, we say, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Um, Holly and Jim requested prayers uh, for Bob, uh, who is in the hospital on a ventilator himself after a car accident on December 20th. Um, Bob is the brother-in-law of Holly's good friend, Melanie Branson. Um, and um, she went to, she came here uh, to our church years ago, so some of you may know her. Uh, so prayers for, for, uh, for Holly and Jim's uh, friend, Bob. We say, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And um, we, um, we uh, got some news, too, that uh, one of the kids in um, Joanna's youth uh, theater group, uh, his name is Sebastian. Um, and um, is he your age? or? Okay, so he's, uh, he's a young adult now. Uh, but his mother died suddenly of a heart attack um, this week. So um, just prayers for Sebastian um, and uh, for his family uh, in this time. So for, for Sebastian and his family, we say, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Are there any other um, prayer concerns that we would like to share? Okay. So for Kathy, um, for her friend, her sister, sister Gail. Gail. Um, and uh, so prayers for healing for Gail um, in this time. So for Gail um, and her family, we say, Lord, in your mercy. Um, Terry. Uh, so I'm glad, so joy for your family that you had a good holiday um, experience. That doesn't always happen. And uh, so I, I joy for you all. So we say in times of joy. And um, an announcement, Joy, that um, the, there's a men's group that's going to start meeting at the Ramona Cafe on Thursdays at 8 a.m. Is that what you said? Yes. Um, so so uh, if you would like to join them, I'm sure they'd be happy to have you. Um, and uh, so for that, we say, in times of joy, for reconnecting with old friends and getting having the opportunity and the time to be able to, to Let's share. Do it. <coughs> yes. Let me have a chance. Thank you. So do it while you have a chance. Absolutely, Adelaide, you are absolutely correct. Um, so, um, so a joy um, from 
Adelaide and uh, to all of us to, uh, and an encouragement for all of us to reconnect uh, with our friends and family. We say, in times of joy... Any others? Um, so this is your son-in-law, Dennis, yes. um, and his his father, name is Don. His father, Don, who fell and broke his hip. Um, and uh, so prayers for him for recovery um, and healing. So for Don, we say, Lord, in your mercy. Yes. Right. And if you didn't hear, Don will be celebrating his 90th birthday this week. So, um, so. A special prayers for yeah, j- that joy, but also uh, concern in terms of healing and from all of that. So, all right. Yeah. Then let us lift up these joys um, and concerns as we lay our prayers before God. Gracious and loving God, we come to you on this one last Sunday in the Christmas season, again to sing the old familiar hymns, again to celebrate the most wonderful, wondrous gift, the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us to receive your gift to receive Christ into our hearts and into our lives. Help us to follow him with our words and our actions and our hearts. And remind us again and again that we are not alone, that you are always right there beside us. We ask you to be especially close to those whom we've lifted up here this morning. Hold them that they may feel your warmth, your comfort, and your care. Touch them with your healing touch. And be present with those whom we did not lift up. Those who are on our hearts and those who we do not know. For we know from your words that the harvest is great and the workers few. Help us to go out into this new year with a foundation of your love, your compassion, your forgiveness, and your acceptance. And may we be a reflection of your light and your love to a world that is hurting, to a world that is in need of your love and your healing. Help this church to be a beacon to this community. And may all we do and all we say glorify your holy name. (coughs) Help us to remember that this is our call. And that you are the God of all people and of all creation. Help us to remember these things as we remember the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We've come now to our time of celebrating our gifts. We celebrate the many gifts that God has given us throughout our lives, not only the gift of his son, Jesus Christ, that we celebrate in this season, but the many gifts, the way that God has been present with us and guided us through so many challenges, and the way that we can be assured that God will be present with us and give us gifts to meet the future challenges. We celebrate that together as one body, by standing as you are able and joining together with me in our hymn of praise, our doxology. <laughs> As we begin Holy Communion, we open up our, our hearts to God by joining together in our prayer of confession. So I invite you now to join with me in this prayer. O God of goodness and light, illumine a path for us by which we may walk in faithfulness. Too often we have lost our way. Too often we have lived out of our pride and stubbornness and fail to turn to you in our times of need. Help us accept the forgiveness you offer if we but only ask for it. Grant us the opportunity to celebrate this coming year with a faithfulness that we scarcely knew we had in us. Prior to this celebration through your Holy Spirit, the greatest gift you can offer us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Release the burdens of the past. Allow the peace of God to dwell in you. You are forgiven. Accept the gift. Relax in the warmth of God's embrace. You guys are a little early. I wasn't pointing at you. I was asking Dan to turn Tim's mic off. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through your prophets who looked for that day when justice shall roll down like water and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. When nation shall not lift up sword against nation, and neither shall they learn war any more. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ, whom you sent in the fullness of time to be a light to the nations and have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You put down the mighty from their thrones and exalt those of low degree. Your own Son came among us as a servant to be Emmanuel, your presence with us. He humbled himself in the obedience to your will and freely accepted death on a cross. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, he gave thanks to you and broke the bread, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, and gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever. And the people of God said, Amen. We're going to invite you all to stand um, and sing our closing carol. Um, and uh, this one um, was by special request. Um, so we're going to sing O Holy Night.
Go forth now with God's light shining on the path before us, with Jesus beside us as a guide and friend, and the power of the Holy Spirit working within us to give us strength and courage, hope, peace, joy, and love to go forth each and every day. Amen.